Hey what's up everyone and welcome to daily code buffer. In this video of JS buffer we are going to see the arrays sort function. So as the name suggests sort function is used to sort the array. Now how the sort functions works in JavaScript. Now sort functions sorts the data converting each element into string and then sequentially matching the each character or each sequence using the UTF-16 code unit values. So suppose if you are sorting the numbers as well then those particular number array will be converted to string and sequentially it will be matched with its UTF-16 code unit values. So let's see how we can sort the arrays and how to get the correct sorting values when we are using numbers. So let me get the string array over here. So considering this is a array having the string values, we are having the months March, Jan, Feb and December. So when we sort this array, the output we should be expecting is December, February, Jan and March. So let's do the sorting over here. We'll do months.sort and let's print this array over here. Console.log months over here. Let's run this. Yeah, you can see that we are getting the data December, February, Jan and March, which is the expected results, right? Because this data has been sorted based on the sequential manner in the ascending order. The default is ascending order. Now let's check the number arrays over here. So let me just delete this and let's take the number array. So I have taken the numbers array over here, which contains 1, 33, 4, 29 and 100,000 over here. Okay. So these are the values over here. Now if I do numbers.sort over here and I do console.log with the numbers, then the expected result would be 100,000, 29, 33 and 4 because this entire numbers array has been converted to string and sequentially it is matched with the UTF-16 code unit values. So if I run this, yeah, you can see that we are getting the data this way, 100,000, 29, 33 and 4. But this is not what we expect, right? Because when we are sorting the numbers array, we should be getting 1, 4, 29, 33 and then 100,000. So to make this work, we need to pass the compare method. How our comparison should work using the sort function. So let's create the function over here. Function compare numbers, which will take two values A and B. And based on the A and B, what we are getting, we should be passing the results. How this works is, so suppose if you are working with any of the compare methods, so you'll be taking two input values, value A or value 1 and value 2. If considering we are taking A and B over here, if A is less than B, if the value of A is less than the value of B with any of the criteria that you define in the if condition, if that's so, then you should be returning the negative value. And if A is greater than the B, then we should be returning the positive values. And if any of the values are equal, then we should be returning zero. So this is how the compare method should behave. So in this compare method that we have defined over here, compare numbers, we will be doing the same thing. What we'll be doing is we will be returning A minus B over here. So this is how the method is. So let me just clear this over here and let's use this compare numbers method in our sort. Okay. So we are just passing the compare method over here in the sorting function. Now, if you run this, this was the earlier result, right? Now let's run this again. And here you can see that we are getting the data correctly. The sorting is correct. We are getting what was expected. So this way we have to define the compare methods, how our comparison should work. Now, rather than using this, we can also pass the arrow functions over here. Now let's take the other example where we'll be working on the array of object. So let me just clear this out. And this is the array of object over here where variable items equals to there are having multiple objects over here. Now what we have to do is we have to sort this array based on the values over here. So what we can do over here is we can do items dot sort and we will use the arrow functions over here. I'll take a and b and here we will define the compare method based on the values that we have. So what we'll do a dot value minus b dot value over here. So based on this comparison the entire array will be sorted based on the values in the ascending order. So let's print this array console.log items over here. So this is the simple thing that we have done over here passing the compare method that how our entire object array has to be compared. So if I run this again, 
yeah you can see that my entire array has been sorted based on the value so it is sorted in the ascending order so the negative value first minus 12 13 21 37 37 and 45 so this way the values are compared now if you want to sort this array based on the name that we have then we can also do the same thing over here what we will do we will just say items dot sort we'll take the two values over here a comma b and we'll just say if a dot name greater than b dot name then return one if a dot name is less than b dot name return minus one and if this two conditions are not there that means the values are equal so we will just return return zero so this is the function which is just comparing the values based on this name so the entire array will be sorted based on the name in the ascending order so we are just comparing the values which i showed you earlier that if a is greater than b then we should be returning positive number and if a is less than b we should be returning the negative number and if the values are same we will be returning zero so let's print this again console.log items over here now let's run this let me clear the console and let's run it again so here we have done sorting twice first one is based on the value and the second one is based on the name so value if you see it's a sorted based on value with ascending order with minus 12 13 21 and all and after that we have done sorting based on name so if you can see that it started with and edward magnetic sharpie d and zero so this entire list you can see that it's in the alphabetical order so this way we can do the sorting with the compare method in the javascript so that's it in this video if you have liked this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos i will see you in the next video till then happy coding bye bye